Hi guys, welcome. Today we are gonna take a look how to implement translate animation to your views. Means moving views from one place to another. This video is gonna be one step solution for all types of translation animation. We will start from basic and to cover all the advanced steps. So let's get started. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and turn on the notification for more upcoming videos like this. Now in Android Studio, I have already created a project and in my XML layout, I have an image inside a linear layout and 4 buttons in parents layout. In my main activity.java, I have initialized the image and the buttons and assigned them by their following IDs. Now to create translate animation, first you have to right click on the rest directory, new, and dot resource directory. We are gonna choose the resource type to anim and click ok. You will see anim directory under the rest directory. Now right click on it, new, animation resource file and you can choose whatever file name you want. I am gonna name it move up animation and click ok. In here we are gonna create the translate animation for our views. For that I am gonna write opening angle bracket. You will see you have a lot of different type of animations in here. For this video scope we are only talking about the translate type of animation. You will see a lot of different type of attributes in here. Let me briefly explain them. Suppose your view is on the x and y axis like this and where your view is in the layout that its initial position 0 0. If you want to move it to the right side, you have to provide attributes like this from x delta to x delta. From x delta value will be 0 and to x delta value will be depending on how much you want to move it to the right side. Similarly, if you want to move it to the left side, you have to provide from x delta 0 to x delta but this time x delta value will be in negative. For moving at upside direction, attributes will be from y delta to y delta. From y delta value will be 0 and to y delta value will be negative number. Similarly, if you want to move it at downside direction, then you have to provide from y delta 0 to y delta and to y delta value will be a positive number. The value depends how much you want to move. Now for my case, I want to move up the animation. For that, I am gonna write from y delta 0. You have various type of options for the unit. But I am gonna write percentage P means from the 0% of parents layout to Y delta. I want to move it up 50% of the parents layout. So for that minus 50% P. This will move the image from its initial position to upper direction. We also need to add another attribute called duration for the duration animation. Value will be in milliseconds, thousands millisecond equal to one second. For a smooth animation, I am gonna provide a 2000 millisecond, that's for two second. Now the animation is ready, we have to attach it to our image view. For that, go to the main activity.java and in here we are gonna call set on click listener on our move up button. In the on click method, we are gonna call animation. I'll name it to it animation equal to animation utilis dot load animation. It takes two parameters. First is the context. For that I'm gonna provide main activity dot this. And the second one is the animation file that we have just created. This will load the animation file on the animation object and you will just have to call it on our image. For that we'll take our image view that we want to animate and call dot start animation on it and pass the animation object as the parameter. That's it. That's all we have to do. Now let's test it to see how it's work. As you can see the animation is working. But after the animation ends, the view returns to its initial position. If you want to fix this for that, we have to go to the move of animation file 
and here we need to add an attribute and dot fill up to to true by default it's set to false now if you test it you can see it stays up there okay let's create other animations same way as this move down animation opening angle bracket translate from y delta 0 to to y delta 50% of its parent layout and this will be a positive number and let's not provide duration to see what will happen lastly we are gonna set the fill up to true okay let's add this animation to our image view so we are gonna take our move down button, set on click listener on it, load the move down animation in an animation object and call start animation on the image view. Same way we are gonna create move left animation. But this time it will be from x delta 0 to x delta 50 percent of its parent layout also set the fill up to true now set the animation to our image view Let's see, I'm gonna create the moved right animation. It will be the same, except we have to provide a negative value to the Y delta. Let's add the last animation to our image view. Now let's test it to see how it's work. You can see it's working but image is kinda snapped to that position without an animation. That's because we didn't provide a duration. Now let's fix it to see how it's work. And you can see it's working. Now we'll take a look how you can animate views diagonally instead of animating only one axis. For this demonstration, I have removed all the buttons, leaving only one. And also removed the previous code from here. So first we're gonna create a animation file. I'm gonna name it diagonal animation. Again you can name it however you want. And click OK. We're gonna animate it towards the top left corner diagonally. For that, we need to create two sets of translate animations here. One for the X axis and other for the Y. First, we want to move it towards the left side. Then simultaneously, we move it towards the upper side. That gives us a diagonal animation towards top left. Lastly, we will set the fill up to true and also set the duration for the whole animation to 2 seconds. Ok, now let's apply this animation on our image view. For that in our main activity.java, we are gonna set the on click listener on our button. In the on click method, instead of loading animation on an object, we can directly call the start animation on our image view. And inside the parenthesis, we can call animation utilities dot load animation and pass the context and the animation file as the parameters. This approach will simply reduce your lines of code. Now let's test it. As you can see, our animation is working perfectly fine. 
now we will see how to create a sequence animations means animation will be executed one by one for that i'm going to create a new animation file and name it sequence animation now for this demonstration i want to create a animation like this first we want to move it at the left side so android from x delta 0% to android 2x delta minus 40% then we will move it towards the upward direction so android from y delta 0 to android y delta minus 40% after that we want to move it towards the right side for that android from x delta 0 to android to x delta 80 percent because it has to move from the left corner to the right corner and distance is twice then we will move it towards downside so android from y delta 0 percent to android to y delta 40 percent lastly we will move it back to its center position for that android from x delta 0 percent to android to x delta 40 percent Next, I'm going to add a duration of one second for each animation. But it's not complete. If we run this now, all the animations will be fired simultaneously. So we need to add another attribute and that is Android start offset. This will delay the animation by one second because we need to complete the previous one. Similarly, we will add this in here and set it value to 2 seconds because we will delay this animation before these two completes. Same way, we will add it here and set its value to 3 seconds and also in here and its value will be 4 seconds. Okay, our sequence animation is ready. Let's add this on our image view. So, in our main activity.java, I am going to simply replace it with our sequence animation file. Now we will test it to see how it's work. Ok, as you can see our animation is working perfectly fine. Now let's take a look how to cancel an animation. For that I have added an another button. In the onCreate method I have initialized the button and like before I have created an animation object to load the sequence animation on and now I am calling start animation on the image view from the button click. You can also listen to the animation state by calling set animation listener on this object and you will get three callback methods on animation start, on animation end and on animation repeat. They are self explanatory by their name and you can add your own logic in here. I am simply gonna show a toast message in here. Animation started. Animation ended. And I don't have any animation repeat case. So I am just leave it blank. Now I am gonna call set on click listener on the cancel button. In here you can call clear animation on your view to cancel the animation. This animation object also contains some methods. You can set duration from here. Also you can set the fill after. It has some other bunch of methods but I want to show you this method. Set an interpolator. With interpolation you can control the flow of the animation. By default it is set to linear interpolator. You can also set it to have other interpolator as well like this. Accelerate interpolator with this animation start to accelerate. Also have deaccelerate any interpolator with this animation start to deaccelerate and this accelerate deaccelerate interpolator. But I want to show to you this overshoot interpolator. You can experiment with them to see how they works. You will find all the interpolator names in the description. Now let's run the app. This is the effect for the overshoot interpolation. You can see when the animation starts, you will get a toast message, animation start. And when it ends, you also get a toast message, animation ends. And with the cancel button, you can also cancel the animation. Let's try this one more time and it's working. 
you can see the cancellation toast message shows up when i hit the cancel button okay guys that's it for today if you have any questions you can comment down below and i'll see you in next time take care